And so this is something that's been just whirring around my head all week, is how can it be more fair for women? What can we do? It's wonderful that there's so many exciting things going on um, all over the world and people are really starting to open up this conversation. At the same time, how much of it is virtue signaling by organizations? How much of it how much of it is people being invited, women being invited to be on senior leadership positions, to be panelists? Um, a year ago, I uh, I was really annoyed uh, because there was a panel for, um, it was around energy and engineering. And it was all four of the panelists were male. There was no um, diversity in race or um, gender. So I was really shocked that on this panel, there was not one person of color or a female. And when I'd asked and I'd said, I really wanted to come to this event, I was really interested in the topic, it was about um, clean energy. Why do you not have any um, diversity on your panel? You know, what are you doing? And they had said, it's just so hard for us to get um, a person of color on this panel. And it's so hard for us to get a female um, speaker on this topic. Do you know what was the craziest thing is on that particular day, it was um, National uh, Women in Engineering Day. And I could not believe that they would choose to do the event on that day. But also that same institution had over 20 incredible women working in energy, working in renewable energy, um, engineering, um, professors, academics. And I was just thinking, what are you doing? You haven't thought about this from the beginning. You're only thinking about it when it's pointed out to you, you know, during the event. And this happens a lot as well for women in leadership positions. And I wanted to point this out as well. There is a lot to say around, we've talked about lack of getting funding or the challenges around workplace commitments, caring responsibilities. But what about um, things like being invited onto panels, speaking? Sometimes you are paid, sometimes you're not paid. I'm in a very fortunate position now when I'm training, when I'm presenting, I'm able to actually be paid for that time. And I know that's really fortunate because not everyone's in that position. But it means that what I'm trying to do now is when I invite speakers to also pay my speakers and to ensure that I have diversity of thought and representation because representation matters. But there are so many women who are invited to be uh, on charity boards, to be speaking, to be panelists, often because they have a diversity or they're from a particular background, or maybe because they have their own personal brand and that personal brand is attractive because they know if they hire that person, they're gonna get lots of audience viewers or, or these sorts of things. But what I wanted to point out with that is it can be really problematic because if you are using the same person over and over again, if you as an organization um, are inviting the same people but not paying them for their time, not really thinking about um, you know, the commitments and the sacrifices they have to make in their life to be there, I think these are really important discussions for us to start having.